Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new movie review. I'm Scotty V. Now what I got for you today is Thor The Dark World. So Thor just uh, Thor The Dark World is the second movie in the Thor trilogy, uh, which came out right after Iron Man in November 2013. So basically after the events of uh, the Avengers, Thor went back to Asgard to bring Loki to prison and to answer for his crimes. And he also went to restore peace and order to the Nine Realms. In this whole um, process of uh, restoring the peace, uh, Jane Foster, who's played by Natalie Portman, uh, goes to London to do some scientific research, and she encounters the ether. And the ether was put away millions of thousands, uh, th- millions of years ago, by uh, Odin's uh, grand, or Odin's father, Bor. And somehow Jane Foster found it and it was injected into her body. So Thor has to take her back to Asgard. And obviously Odin being Odin, he doesn't want any uh, humans in Asgard. Discovers that the ether, which is now known as the Reality Stone, which I still don't understand why they would uh, have uh, a stone into a liquid form. Till this day, I still don't get it. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's an explanation somewhere out there why the Reality Stone was a liquid. Anyways, um, so with Jane Foster awakening the reality stone, uh, the enemies of the film, which are the Dark Elves and Malekith, which was a total waste. Uh, I I wanted to see more from Malekith, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, So the Dark Elves are awakened. They destroy what they can of Asgard to grit the reality stone. And uh, Thor has to um, basically ask Loki for help after his mother was pretty much stabbed to death because uh, Thor's mother did help Jane Foster survive. So he had to go to Loki and um, pretty much say, hey, I need your help. And if you don't, uh, if you don't, and if you betray me, I'll kill you. So they end up helping each other, tricking Malekith. And then there was a whole big battle with the reality stone, which was pretty awesome. The action was great. The acting was believable. Um, the only thing I had a problem with was Jane Foster, Natalie Portman, just because she seemed forced and she didn't want to be there. She, it was like she was uh, she had to be there because of her contract, but she never showed up in Jane, uh, as Jane in uh, Thor Ragnarok. So that's my only if about it. <clears throat> and but the story was fine as I deep as I dug deeper into the Thor Dark World story. It made sense. Is it my favorite Thor movie? Obviously not, but. The CG, the everything was pretty much good except for the Malekith character. Could have had more character development. Just he fought with uh, Thor's grandfather. They lost the, the reality stone. Say they had to go into hiding or hibernation for a little bit. So that was that. Overall, Thor came out victorious. Uh, the reality stone, um, uh, Lady Sift. Ended up giving the reality stone to the collector in a post credit scene. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Thor of the Dark World. My quick thoughts about it. Um, overall, not the best Thor movie. I would say it's my least favorite Thor movie. Because I really enjoyed the first Thor more than I did the Dark World. Even though the Dark World was a sequel to the Avengers. or You know what I mean. So, anyways, let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think of Thor of the Dark World. And I'll do my best to answer you guys back. All right, guys, that's it for me for this week. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Do check out our other videos that we've done in the past, and I'll see you soon. Be good.